Hey guys, this week I'm going to be filming my first week with Pearl. It starts off on kind of a weird start, but the first clip in this video is from Tuesday. I deleted some of the clips that I took on Saturday, and I didn't really say anything in between those days, so it just starts off on kind of a weird place, but yeah, um, <laughs> that's that. You won't be able to actually see her, but she's in the coconut um, cave. Uh, I have, in that food bowl, there is a little bit of vegetables, some dried out meal mealworms, and some eggshell. As you can see in the coconut cave, there I did put a little bit of eggshell in there just so she'd notice that I was there. I don't know if she's eaten any, but I really hope she has. There is some moss in there. I'm not sure if she brought the moss in there or if I put it in there earlier. I don't really know. I also did give her a mineral block. I mean, I won't be giving it to her that often, but I just thought I'd put it in there because most of my hermit crabs really like that and I don't know, then I can kind of see if she's eating very much. Also, I'm not giving her, I mean, I'm not making her tank super duper humid because I don't know how humid her last owners made their tank. So I don't, it might be kind of bad for her body if it goes from being not humid at all to like super humid. So I'm kind of phasing into the humidity, humidity more. I'm not going to give her like no humidity, but I will, I'm still going to try to phase into it. It's Wednesday. So this morning I just moved the, the coconut um, thing, the coconut cave and from like over there to right there because I didn't want to move her too much and stress her out but she went over to eat some of the food I gave her. I gave her some lettuce, eggshell, and carrot and then I have another food bowl over there. Of Guys, it's Thursday. I'm sorry that I stopped that all of a sudden because well that was kind of weird. <laughs> um, the reason that I did that was because I thought I saw a mite. You might have noticed on the last clip, but don't worry, it was not a mite. Um, it was just like a smudge on the glass, so do not worry, it is totally fine. But I will give you a Thursday update on Pearl. She's doing really well. She She's warming up more and more each day to being here. Um, today, actually, something pretty exciting for me happened. She was out and I was about to feed her and I just decided to put her on my hand and she actually came out. That was really exciting for me. Um, and a few I don't, I want to wait a few days before I pick her up again because, like, I don't want to stress her out at all. And, um, sometimes holding her, hermit crabs can be stressful, but she was, like, okay with being held so it wasn't too stressful. But I wouldn't do that if she didn't seem to want to be held. But she actually just ate a little piece of spinach in my hand. And it was so, so adorable. I love... It was just so cute. It's currently Saturday. And for some reason, I still haven't gone to the pet store to get Pearl more places to hide. But hopefully I'll be able to today or tomorrow. I'm thinking I probably will be able to today or tomorrow. But I'm thinking that also today or tomorrow I will start introducing Pal and Pearl. The reason I'm going to do only Pal is because he's the nicest of all of my crabs, like to new crabs. I haven't gotten another hermit crab in over a year, so I don't remember how the, any of them re really react exactly to new hermit crabs. So. I don't really know. So another really random thing, I am going to be able to keep Junior, the chinchilla that I am caring for, for a couple more weeks and I am so excited. Guys, it's Sunday. I'm about to go to Pet Supplies Plus just to get Pearl a little, another place to hide and also my main tank because I, I think I need another place for my hermit crabs to hide. So yeah, I'm going to go there right now.
So I just got back home. The reason I was looking at the bird things is because the in the bird aisle, there are actually a lot of great climbing things that hermit crabs might love. I didn't get, I don't think I got anything from the bird section today, but probably in the next few weeks I will get something from the bird section for my hermit crabs to climb on. The first thing I got for the hermit crabs is this tree trunk hideout thing. It's actually made for like hamsters and gerbils and mice, but it's perfectly fine to use for hermit crabs too because it's a place for them to hide so I'm sure they'll like it. Um, then I also got some fake plants so they can hide behind those. Then. I don't know, I got two dog bowls, but they're not for the hermit crabs, of course. And I also got some dog treats, but yeah, that's all. Today's gonna be sort of a big day for the hermit crabs. Later, I will put these things in their tank, and then I will also start to introduce Pal and Pearl. <laughs> so, I might introduce Ico Pearl too because I don't really know if Ico has maybe changed and decided that he's okay with new hermit crabs but ice cream and Oreo are probably molting right now because they're deep under the substrate so yeah. So I'm about to start introducing Pal and Pearl so I'm going to film it for you but I'm also going to speed it up so that's what it, why it will look strange. you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more pet content. Bye!